Hey, Jeff Kogan here, and welcome to the June YouTube Jeff Kogan's channel review. So again, this is a Jeff Kogan's channel's review for uh, the month of June 2017. And again, if this is the first time listening to this, this is um, one of the things that I'm documenting on my channel is kind of the growth of the YouTube channel and kind of explaining what I'm doing uh, for uh, my personal brand. Um, this is not my only income source, kind of disclaimer here, uh, from just the YouTube ad money, okay? Um, but using this to show you exactly what you can do if you want to grow a personal brand and to kind of uh, uh, give transparency in the world of internet land uh, to show folks on uh, what I've done in the past to grow my other YouTube channels as well as how I'm doing it literally from ground zero um, and you can follow along and hopefully you get some value out of uh, these videos. So um, so if you, what you see right here on uh, the screen here is my YouTube channel clearly and if this is the first time here and you want to see some of the older ones, all you have to do is click on this home section right here and scroll down to uh, all the way at the bottom and you can go to this playlist where it says first month and it says second month on YouTube and you can clearly see uh, some of the stats from April May and we're currently right now recording the June one and if you're interested in seeing some of my older videos you can see some old one is about eight years old um, and some bunch of different new ones in the space of real estate and entrepreneurship and the stuff that I'm working on. But let's go ahead and get into kind of the the numbers, okay? The nitty gritty numbers, the spreadsheet that we like to have. And I decided to add this from last episode where I decided to add the link to the actual spreadsheet. So if you want to see kind of the stats, there should be a you know, link somewhere in the description. So click on that and you can see it and you can see the updates on this and you can see here in the month of June in terms of growth for uh, the subscriber, I may want to put another tab in here so you can see the growth percentage, but it just went up from 58 subscribers to 64. Okay. And so we didn't have a tremendous amount of huge growth. Um, total videos that I launched was 189. Uh, last month we did uh, 100, we had 150 on our channel and this month we had 189. So we probably want to put another tab in here as I'm realizing this maybe the amount of new videos that I'm releasing per month so you can see total views has gone up for obviously since I've been posting stuff to uh, 6,900 or so or 6,913 on my total channel um, and then the average views for each video has gone up to 36.58. Now all of this is somewhat skewed in a way and I don't even want to say somewhat let's just call it what it is a spade is a spade which is these views are skewed why is because I am spending and investing money in advertisement on the YouTube platform meaning I'm running ads okay currently right now so last month in May I spent $254.39 and the month of June I only spent $60.80. Now, you might say, why a huge drop off? Well, I, I'm starting to test some couple of things that I done before in the past and which is in the beginning, I like to go back and forth fourth, um, like one one month out of the quarter, meaning like, hey, there's four months in a quarter, right? So one month, I like to spend money to get new viewers in. Okay, and then once I get new viewers, then anyone who views your video, they go into what we like to call a remarketing bucket. Okay, and just so that way you get a better idea, let me show you this. Let me show you the screen. Okay, I think you get a better idea of this. So here's the actual screen on this. This is the Google AdWords section. Uh, let me uh, make this smaller so you can see um, I should have been a little bit more prepared doing this versus hitting this the record button so um, really really dangerous as I do this <laughs> so as you can see here I'm in the Google AdWords and you can see here are some of the assets I have and to get here you all you have to go to shared library and click on audiences and connect your YouTube channel okay and if you have a website you can install what they call remarketing pixels on your website, meaning these pixels are literally a snippet of code you put on. And when someone lands on your website, it fires off a, you know, code uh, back to Google AdWords and says, hey, this person checked, went to your website. Now you have the ability to run advertisement in front of them. All right. So that's what it is. Okay. Now, if you don't know what it is, YouTube it. Okay. You're on YouTube. Okay. Hashtag GTSN. We know what that stands for. Google that shit now and you can find out. So um, it's called remarketing. Now on Facebook, it's called retargeting. Okay. A little bit different there. Okay. Um, but, but, but the utility of that tool is, does the exact same thing. So you can see some of the assets that I have on here. And what I want you to really pay attention to is not anything that says similar to, okay. We'll talk about that in later on because that's kind of my, like my phase one. We're currently 
currently right now in phase zero, uh, priming the pump, getting the audience ready, and trying to uh, get the name out. Um, so you can see here, the right here is the YouTube channel. This right here, I currently have, and let me get rid of this uh, right here. Okay, so let me get rid of that. Okay, so boom. So if I get rid of that, you should be able to see at the top, it says search, this is the list size. So you have the search, how many people searched uh, on the YouTube and uh, display network, okay? So this is basically your secondary list as we like to call it. So you can see here, um, we have 1,200 on one, okay? 2,900 on another one and then 3,700. All right, so the largest list I have is 3,700 and 2,900 and 1,200. And you can see the website, the jeffkoga.live, um, which I put up, I think, in a day using a template on ClickFunnels. So that way I have an official website up, okay? And I did that, and uh, um, this is all, you know, since I did this, I started in May, I believe, mid-May or something, or May, I believe, yeah. And when I did this, we don't get too much traffic on it, okay? It's only 168, 180, and 180. So we don't, we don't get a whole heck of a lot of traffic, okay? Um, but you can see here, I do have one on my real estate strategy lab website. This one has about 1,600, 1,400, 1,400. This is one of the, my information education uh, publishing company uh, in the real estate space. And this one makes, you know, pretty damn good money. Um, and uh, we have that on there. Um, and you can see here, this Jeff Koga personal is a different YouTube channel I have. Um, I don't think I've launched a video in months on that. So this one has 2,400, 1,100, 1,600. Um, I have another YouTube channel for Real Estate Strategy Lab. This one's a lot smaller, 110, 570, 680. Subscribe to Jeff Koga is 44, 30, or 130. And personal subscribe, 2861. And I'm still figuring out why these numbers are a little bit lower and skewed, even though on my subscription side, I have close to about like on one, like 3,000 or 4,000 people. Another one, I think I have another like 4,000, right? So I'm not sure why it only shows this amount. Haven't figured that one out. Um, but one of my bigger channels is this one right here where it says CRG. This was for my uh, previous uh, real estate investment and development company. You can see here, this list size on the display side is 6,100. Um, and then you can see the YouTube, 3,500 and search is 380, okay? So as I'm running this type of advertisement, because I want to talk about ad, because I'm a really an ads man, okay? Is let me show you some couple things on how that looks like because I spent $60.80. So when we break that up, this is how it looks like. All right, let me get rid of this again, um, is we got 670 views, all right? And you can see here, um, we're running two types of ad. One is called video discovery, and one is called in-stream, all right? Now, what is the in-stream? The in-stream one is pretty simple, is, you know, you might have seen it when you watch this video, is right before the video starts, um, you see a commercial, okay? That commercial is essentially an ad, all right? So I'm running this advertisement in front of the people who are watching other YouTube, okay? And uh, this one right here, impressions mean that how many times this ad popped up? So it almost popped up about 1,500 times, and out of that, 547 people, quote unquote, essentially viewed it. And if you click on this, right, this question mark, it says here, what is it, right? It says right here, a view occurs when a viewer watches 30 seconds of your video or the duration if the video is shorter than 30 seconds, or interacts with your video, whichever comes first. Video interaction includes clicks on the call to action overlays, and cards, companion banners. And it says, keep in mind, true view video ads, the views of your video ad will count towards your public uh, YouTube view, okay? So bottom line, in layman terms, what this means is that if anyone, um, you have a video that's shorter than 30 seconds, that means that, hey, you know what? These are the people who watched past 30 seconds. Predominant, okay, so so out of 1,500, um, almost a third of these people watched um, uh, watched the video. And the cost per view, if you see here, it says CP view. It stands for cost per view. And let me slide this so it can, it's a little bit easier. You can see here it's nine cents on the in stream, um, which came out to a total of forty nine dollars and eighty eight cents. And then on the bottom one, the video discovery is if you go to the search section of YouTube on the right hand side, like somewhere around here, you're gonna see a video ad. Okay, so that one is showed up ten thousand times. Okay, ten thousand times, and only one hundred and twenty three people physically clicked on it. And uh, so it's a very low percentage in terms of click-through, right? Because uh, on this, I don't really look at a view rate, but I look at it as a click-through rate, and the click-through rate it was a little over 1%. I can live with that, all right? Cost per view is six cents, so, but we only spent like $7.78, so at the grand scheme of things, it's a whole, not a whole heck of a lot of money. So in my eyes, it's, you know, 
you can't really say, hey, that's a statistical significant, you know, thing that you want to figure out and that, hey, you can make, make some strategic, uh, um, you know, changes in your campaign. No, you really, really can't. Not with the total amount of $60, right? So, but I'm putting this up there to show you um, what you can do to force essentially people to get to know your brand, uh, regardless if your video is good or bad. Now, clearly, your videos can be a lot better. And I don't preach or I never preach and say, hey, my video is the most aesthetically pleasing video and or I don't say that, hey, it's the most entertaining video to watch. No, I just try to simply deliver much value as I possibly can in the short amount of time that I have since I am running other companies. And then hopefully that will attract my ideal customers and clients or people that I would probably hang out with them and maybe have a beer or two with them. Right. And hopefully it says, nah, I don't want people that um, that don't like my style. OK, so again, that's just who I am. Will it work for you? Um, I don't know. It all depends. Right. And it all depends on your brand and the message that you're creating for your brand. So we got this. Let me show you some couple other stuff before the, the video gets any longer. Um, let me pop this one up right on the screen here is uh, this one uh, is the one I paused. This is the one that I was running the retarget, which was my first video uh, vlog that I did essentially. And if you look at, and if you look at um, the May uh, stats, I talk about how I was in a boot camp called Jump Cut Academy that forced me to create better content. So um, this was my first attempt with my video guide to come out with a much better content than these long form live streams that I do on YouTube. So we did this. So I decided to run traffic to that. And you can see here what I absolutely love about this is this is that this earned view right here. You see this is as 21 on here. So if you click over this, and says an earned view occurs when someone views your video ad and then watches another video or videos in a linked YouTube channel within seven days of the ad view, right? So in another way, we're, uh, way to say this is that this is called a spillover effect in marketing where, where you do one thing and then it spills over into other things. So essentially they say, hey, they saw that and they're like, oh, this is kind of interesting. Let me check out some other videos, right? And that's what they did. And we got 21 people. So out of uh, 123 uh, people, 21 people, I'm sorry, 120 three people, 21 people literally decided to check out some other video. And on the last video, I talked about the 80-20 principle, right? So if you have never uh, read the book, uh, Perry Marshall's 80-20 uh, Sales and Marketing, highly recommend for you to uh, pick up that book. And they talk about everything is skewed in 80 to 20, meaning one side is going to go to the other. So the simplest way you can take care of this is if you take 21 and divide it by 123, I think that comes out to like what, 15, no, 16, no, probably like 17%, all right? So that falls under the 80-20 principle, meaning the 80% of the 123 people didn't watch any other video than the one I was running ads to, but almost 17 or 20% of the people decided to watch something else, all right? And that's where the power really comes into because these 21 people that watch either know who you are or they're somewhat interested in the message that you have. And these people probably if I had to guess there might be like my, my friends or remotely even family or people that just are interested in what the heck I'm, I'm doing. Right. So again, um, regardless, regardless, these are the people that I want to continuously grow and grow and grow and keep on attacking. Okay. And I say attacking as in having your ads in front of. So the next one I have is guess what? Vlog number two that I am running. Okay. And this one's called the health tip for entrepreneurs. And I do a, like a funny little pattern interrupt in the beginning, um, where I'm literally walking into the bathroom and you can, it's kind of nasty to some, what some people said is that you can hear me like kind of pee. And there's a story on why I'm doing that. And I give kind of my health tip. That's really strange and weird, uh, in this video. Um, but, um, I, I, I have that and it's about 10 minutes long. Okay. So they're quite long. All right. So I have that now let me show you some other stuff and then we'll go into the YouTube stats, um, officially cause I want to show you this. Okay. It, and it's really important to understand this, which is right here. This is literally the household income of the people who has watched my ads. Okay. Household income. And I like to pay attention to this because you can see who are the top 10 income earners and even from the 11 to 20%. And if you see here, right, majority of the cost, if I just put this in high to low, okay, it's either they're unknown, all right? And the reason why it would be unknown is that these people may not have been logged in onto uh, their YouTube account. 
right? You might be like, well, that's kind of weird. Well, there's a reason to that, okay? Meaning that they may have been logged into some other account and the computer got cookied and then they decided to actually watch. All right, that might be the reason. So for right now, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna keep on running it to unload. Typically, I like to turn off the unknowns, all right? I don't like to have it you know, running on unknowns, all right? Especially in the fact that you're splitting like $17 to this, right? Like it's going $17 to the lower 50% income earners, okay? Nothing wrong with that, all right? Because usually they'll become your diehard fans, um, but then the people who will typically give you money for any product or services, depending on your product or services, it might be in the people in the higher income level. All right. So again, you have to know your business and stuff like that. So uh, knowing mine uh, as majority of the people I work with is the top income earner. So, so right now this attempt of documenting stuff is to help out the people in the lower income level. So again, I like this because I know that they're watching it, that they're not being indoctrinated by saying, Hey, entrepreneurship is easy. No, it requires hard work and not only hard work, but it requires you to be smart about it. Okay. So I like this. And then you can see here, the next category after unknown is a 31 to 40% in stream. We spent like five bucks, three bucks, right? 41 bucks. And here's the top 10 income earners, right? 25 people that watch this spent only two bucks. So if I had to do it, okay, in a different way for my product, and if I wasn't trying to literally, you know, build a brand uh, under like the majority, which is the people that were lower income versus the top tier people, I would turn off the top income, income earner and only go after the people that are like the lower 50% depending on what product it is, right? So again, you gotta know your product and who you're going after. But you can see here, um, that's how it's set up. And here's another one, right? Is you can see who are parents, okay? So you can see um, right on here, um, 36, um, I'm sorry, there's a huge, huge people that are not a parent. So if I have to guess, the not a parent people are maybe the under 50%, if I have to guess, right, on here. And then the people that are parents, um, you know, showed up a lot, um, so again, I'm guessing the 50% lower income people are people that are not parents because that's 28 bucks that went in there. And probably the unknown might be under the 28, uh, $28 right here too. Okay. And you can see the gender, uh, mix as well. You can do males and females. Um, and again, there's no statistical significance in, in these values, uh, values here. You can even look at the age gap, right? Like I like looking at this and staring at this. Um, you can clearly see some of the people that have watched the whole thing are what people that are 65 years and plus it's 41%. Okay, they have, they've watched a good chunk of this. Okay, so let me let me put this view rate from high to low. Um, unknown is 39%. And here's the reason why I say I typically turn off the unknown is because you say unknown. I'm like, what is that? That doesn't do that, help me out. Okay, and then you can see here 55 to 64, 38, 35 to 44, 60%, uh, 45 to 54, 36, and 25 to 34, uh, 35. So you can see all of this. Now, again, this month, not something uh, really super, super exciting. So let me go ahead and go into the actual stat of the YouTube channel. All right, so we're back at the YouTube channel for Jeff Koga's channel. Look how creative that name is. Um, and let's take a look at the analytics section right here. Um, it, this should have already been pulled up. And we're almost getting to 20 minutes, so we got to hurry this up. And you can see here, right, we got a couple dislikes. Again, the 63 comments are really, at the end of the day, some are spam, right? Uh, video playlists. So again, these are all pointing down. No big deal. Um, why I slept on the office floor. This one clearly has the most amount of uh, watched minutes and views. Why is because guess what? I'm running advertisement to it, right? So again, it's not a surprise, surprise. The second one in line is this one, how to uh, change your Facebook page in 2017, a hack. Okay, this one has 164. Um, uh, document don't create. This one has um, 97 views uh, we got. Uh, hey, hi, hello. This is another one, 79. I was running a little bit, I think, ads in the, in the beginning on that. Um, LA housing market update, right? This one has 76. Um, how to hack a CCTV. Uh, this one has 55, uh, 27, right? 22. And you can see, right? And it's kind of breakdown. And you can see all this breakdown. So let me see a uh, quickly some other ones that you might be interested in seeing. Um, but again, this month, it really wasn't that exciting in terms of movement. Okay. Um, why is because I didn't spend too much money as well as um, uh, I was actually out of the country um, for about a week or so um, in the month of June, the last month of June. So and we'll talk about that on a different episode. But you can see here, YouTube advertising, majority of the views came from there. Um, suggested videos, 284 YouTube channel, right? Browse feature, uh, YouTube search. And if we go into deeper into that, you can see some of the other stats, right? Here's the YouTube advertisement, right? Um, skip, 
skippable video ads, right? Here's the number, right? This is the video in stream that we just saw. And you can see here kind of matches display ad kind of matches too, right? Um, let's take a look at the other, other page here. And this is for, let me see here, suggested videos, right? Um, so here's one of the videos um, that suggested so someone goes here and then they came to mind instead. Uh, look at this one. This one talks about LA market prediction, magic minute, real estate tip, and then they came to mind. Uh, house price is decreasing and then they came to mind. Um, this is another video, another video, right? And you can see here, um, how it comes. So what another strategy is you can, based on these people that are coming here, right? What you can do is you can go to their video, this video. Okay. Like for example, I can go to this video and here's a little quick little hack and strategy I can give you. Um, and I'm going to end it here is, is you can go on here and you can leave comments on here if you want. Right. And it says doesn't work. And if you want, you can be like, hey, I found a way to do it. Uh, here's the link. Right. And you can be like really spammy and put the link in there. Right. Um, I'm not going to do it, but, you know, you could definitely do that. Um, all right. So you can definitely do that. i um, be like, hey, check this one out. Um, this might work for you. Right now, I don't know if this people will automatically approve the actual uh, comment or not. It'll be totally up to you. Um, but what I would recommend to test this out is to do it in two steps and be like, um, tried this a few months ago and it didn't work right so you do something like that and you hit that and then you come out behind this and then if you want to be really sneaky right you take that video uh that you have and hold on let me pause this and you can get the link and you can just like literally paste it in here um i did this video and it worked for me not sure if it will work for you, but hope it helps, right? And then press enter, uh, hit reply, boom, right? And then you hit the thumbs up button so that way they see it, okay? And that's it, right? And you leave it alone. And, uh, you know, we'll see if they will allow it. Uh, seems like um, they have it automatically allows people to like comment and stuff like that. So you'll see, you might be able to pull traffic from there. Okay. So that's kind of a quick strategy that you can do. So figure I give you at least one type of strategy you can apply. But at the end of the day, guys, if you're watching this and you're just like, man, how do I grow a YouTube channel? Um, the bottom line is you got to have great content. And then also you got to get into uh, advertising. I'm a firm believer on that, right? And especially if you're a business owner and you're looking to leverage YouTube as a way to grow your current business is yes, you can go kind of the old school style of what people do is to create content and do something called SEO or search engine optimization. But really that's a slow way. All right. You should do that. Okay. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm doing it. Okay. But to really put some gasoline and increase the speed of which you can get people to notice you, right? Cause it's all about no people noticing you and noticing your business is to guess what run ads. It's to run ads. And if you do it over and over into a core audience of people that are continuously watching your stuff, then guess what? They're either going to like your stuff or they're going to be like, this guy's annoying. If they're annoying, then guess what? Um, the ads will stop showing because they're going to hit like a thumbs down. OK, <laughs> so I'm just letting you know um, that's a strategy that I've implemented over the years and it's not the most sexiest way to do it. And or, um, you know, people aren't like, well, that's the best practice way. No, but that's the way I've done it and it has worked for me. So hopefully you got some value and maybe you add your own spin, add your own style to it. But that's what I got. Go out there. Keep creating content. Keep on serving your community. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and the links are somewhere in the description. If you like what I heard and like what I talked about, and I know you did if you've gotten this far because we're about 23 minutes in, is make sure you hit the subscribe button. That's what I got. This is Jeff Kogan. I'm signing out. Take care and bye-bye.